right? You want your father working or not? I'm taking this too personally. It has nothing to do with you. Nothing to do with me. Are you blind? This is crazy. I'm out of here. Chad, did you see him? Who? The cops. They've been in the office asking a lot of questions. Because you don't rat on your friends. Especially the cops. Reflexes, a cellular ain't incredible reflexes. Wanna go throw a few? Uh, I can't, Dad. I gotta finish this and then I gotta meet the guys later. How about tomorrow? Sure, tomorrow. Got nothing better to do anyway. So, you check the want ads today? All three of them? Come on, get serious. Anything? Someone wants a gardener. Part time. Took an hour, but I left a message on an answering machine. Well, something's bound to turn up. Come next Wednesday. It'll be a year, did you know that? Don't lose hope. I believe in you. I used to play first base. Maybe Chance could use me. Mm. Maybe, Dad, but uh, you'd have to do my chemistry, too. <laughs> Very nice. Clear everything up and go get washed. Okay, sweetheart? Okay. How's your grades? College level, they tell me. Son, about college, you know. Your mom's only working part-time. Dad, I know. Look, maybe I'll get an athletic scholarship. And if not, I was thinking maybe I could go to night school and get a part-time job. Hey, Dad, it's just a thought. Yeah. Here we go, heads up! Turn two, guys, turn two. Heads up, Dad. Come on, Dad, heads up. You want to be an all-star? Go get him, Eddie! You look like an old man, Chris. Just a little stiff. Sure was. Heads up, Chaz, wake up! Oh, come on. Yes! All right, that's the way! You got it, Diana. Beautiful, thank you! Squeeze, Glenn! 
<laughs> You're out of the way, and you blind jerk, I mean. Sorry, <laughs> Mr. Dyson. <laughs> That's all right, Jerry. Maybe I should wear my glasses all the time. Can you come to the dance with you, Mr. D? You bet. I've been known to let out a loud whoo whoo every now and then. You gotta hear that. Yeah. So what are you fellas doing here anyway? If I'm not mistaken, I watched hockey on the tube last yeah. night. Chance's idea to get in some early practice. He's got a shot for the All Stars. Yeah. yeah. Busting our tails for him. Okay. Hey, well, let's avoid any preseason injuries, okay? It's a promise. It's a deal. No problem. Right. Good night yeah. now. You Good night. Good night. All right, come on, let's get in some more practice. Yeah. That's all for today. Look at him. Yeah, I gotta get going anyway. Come on, stay around the bit. No, I gotta go. I gotta get home, too. See All you right. tomorrow. See you guys. Bye. See you tomorrow. Tina, what do you say we go back to your house and, uh, do some homework? No, Chaz, we have to do this interview. You promise. I have a deadline. Chaz? What? You want to play interview? You want to interview first. I don't want to be yes, interviewed. Yes, you do. Now, let's see. Um, who is the cutest guy on the baseball team? Um, let me see. You have multiple choice. What? You are. I like the way your butt looks in your uniform. <laughs> really? Do the interview, and we can talk about it some more. Yeah. How can I refuse? So like I said, I, I think we got a really solid team. Me at short, skip at first, Chris at second. I think we've got a good shot at the state championship. Sounds like something the coach would say. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Well, how do you feel, personally? How do I feel? Can we do homework now? No, Chaz, come on, help me out here. Okay, um... What's that thing you're supposed to say to reporters when you don't want to be quoted? Off the record? Yeah, off the record. Off the record, me and you. Sometimes I daydream I'm in the state game and I make the big play. Bottom of the ninth, I hit a grand slam or something. There's a scout from the Yankees in the stands and he signs me to a... to a five million year deal. It's pretty silly, huh? No, Chaz, not all. I'm really glad you told me. Don't put that in, right? Mm, five million? Like, three million wouldn't be good enough? All right, three. <laughs> and you can be the team reporter. Mm. But no one interviews in the locker room, okay? <laughs> okay. Chris, business is bad. I have to lay Randy off. I'm going to need you to come in after school Sunday. But what about baseball? Sorry, son, I need you. With any luck, it'll be temporary. Do I have a choice? You always have a choice, son. Yeah. Right. No problem, Dad. I know the store comes first. <laughs> Come on, Tina. Let me read what you wrote me. Mm -mm. Freedom in the Platte. Go to. What did you wear? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Can't trust your girlfriend. Who can you trust? <laughs> hey, guys, Skip O'Brien's moving away. His father got a job in Colorado. What are you talking about? It's true, man. They leave this afternoon. His father's be there by Monday. So soon? What about their house? Who cares about the damn house, Brianne? You better go tell the coach. Yeah, he's gonna turn red, purple, and blue. Some other colors I don't want to think about. Yeah. So many kids we've grown up with. Gone. Poor Chris. Kids been his best friend since first grade. I don't know. My brother's got a friend who works at the radio station, so he gets all these free CDs, you know? Girls love it, so. Sounds good. Look us up. Yeah, I have to get some new sounds. Brianne is tired of the old. Well, hey, all I gotta do is ask. Hey, Hawkins. 
Hey, uh, listen, we gotta meet later. Put our heads together about a new first baseman. I can't. I have to work. A job? Where? I just gotta help my dad at the store. He can't let me off. Wait a minute, is this gonna become like an everyday thing now? When were you planning on telling us this? Come on, guys, it's only temporary. Hey, look, by the time practice officially starts, I think it could be back to me. <laughs> Yeah, right. First skip, now you. Here, there's a ninth grader who's got quick hands. Hey, have like Hey, what's up, man? What's Les Barker doing here? Have a look. Bringing out? Still thinks he's captain of the football team? He got out a year ago. Still got a lot of friends here. Next thing you know, they were Chris. scraping tall. Chris, may I talk to you? You guys later. What's going on? You're on your way to the store? You heard. I'm a working man. <laughs> I'll give you a ride. I thought I'd see how your father's doing. You all holding up? I guess. I hear you. Thank you, Mr. Hawkins. Anytime you're welcome. Hey, Dad. You're late. Ship of the tools came in. I'll go mark him up. Leave the boy alone, Tucker. Well, well, look who's paying a visit. How you doing, Andre? I'm a little tired, you two. Well, running the store alone knocks me out, so I'm thinking not to make my son late again. Oh, it wasn't our fault. We got a lot going on over at City Hall. Cars, traffic, even TV crew. Well, maybe someone will need a screwdriver. It could be my biggest sell of the day. You'll make it through this, Tucker. We interrupt our regular broadcast for this bullet. It was just announced at City Hall that the STB Industries has purchased the old Riverbank plant site and will renovate the building for its pendulum division. It is expected to employ a thousand workers, plus create support jobs throughout the community. And that's a bit of news this community really needs. We'll follow this story up. Hey, Dad! 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 I heard I heard hallelujah! <laughs> practice every day this weekend on Saturday. Oil up your glove, man. Congratulations. Thanks. Hey, Dad. You look great out there. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. So what's up? Thought I'd give you a ride home. I just filled out an application at STB. Already? See you tomorrow, Chad. See you later, man. Yeah. They're just gearing up. Your mother typed me out a resume and everything. Whoa. Match with me? A resume? <laughs> she even put me in a tie. So what do you think your chances are? I'm the only one in town with experience in robotics. Yeah. Nine months at the old plant before they closed down. Who else are they going to get? <laughs> I know, I always tell you, don't, don't get cocky, but I'm a shoe in. That's great, Dad. <laughs> Maybe we'll even be able to help you with college after all, huh? No, I don't know yet. But can we get 24-hour delivery? Good. That's why we've been doing business for 20 years. Sure, the calendar's in the mail. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. Hey, Dad, don't tell me you're ordering more stock. What are you trying to do to me? I'm not ordering more stock. I'm figuring costs. I'm going to make some bids on supply contracts with the new plant. You think they'll buy from us? And why not? I mean, don't they buy from wholesalers? Davis over at the stationery store told me to forget it, too. But I called, and they said I could bid on maintenance supplies and small orders. Keep your fingers crossed. This could be your ticket back to the baseball team. Right. Hey, Chris. Hello, Mr. Hawkins. Chad, haven't seen you in a while. Maybe since last baseball season. What's up? Um, Mr. Hawkins, would you mind if I borrow Chris for a second? Sure. Hey, let's go outside. It's chilly out there, Chris. Don't be too long. Your mother will have my hide. Don't 
don't tell me. You need my friend's homework again. No, I need you. The team needs you, Chris. You've got to talk to your father again. Maybe you can come in at 4.30 or something. And what happens when the season starts? Chance, this reeks, man. But what am I supposed to do? Just do what you can do, all right? Look, I gotta make another stop before I head home, but why don't you come over later? I'll pass. Homework. All right, cool. Hey, um, make sure you get the French wrap on right? Hey, Chad. It may be on Saturday. I'll ask my dad. All right. Cool, man. I'll see you later. All right. You know my mother's always looking out the window. I don't care. Boy, you're in a good mood. And why shouldn't I be? Chris is going to practice with the team Saturdays at least. And my dad's going to get a job. That's so great. Because I've been really worried about your family moving out of town like the O'Brien. Well, you worry too much. You're stuck with me. Yeah. Mm, okay. <laughs> I have to go in for dinner. Dinner? Shoot, my folks are gonna kill me. I'll call you later, okay? okay. Bye. Bye. Mm, Lorraine, get a load of this. STV's planning on giving one quarter of the jobs at the plant to minorities. Well, where are they gonna find them in this town? No, it says they're bringing them in from all over the state. One of those affirmative action things, huh? Mm -hmm. Hi, Han. Hi. Everything okay at school today? Yeah. Dinner's on the stove. I had to do a double shift at the supermarket. Oh, okay. Dad, if they're bringing in people from out of town, is this going to cut into your chances? Me? No. I've got a specialty, remember? No, I'm sure they're talking about jobs on the line. It'll all work out. Sure. There's going to be an awful lot of angry guys in this town. Yeah. I wonder how they'll react. A lot of families counting on this. The executive from STV said they had not discussed their plans for hiring workers prior to announcing the company would move into the Riverbank plant. Hey, guys. How you doing? What's up, Chris? The trick was a crime, huh? I know. Playing Saturday? Hey, I'll be there. Hi, See you later, man. All right. See you later. Hey, Mr. D. You look worried. I blanketed the whole street this morning. Nice, huh? I don't get it. Live here my whole life, and I don't get a job? Tough break, Dad. Did they give you any reason why? Yeah, they told me they could bring a guy in from Bolt. Said they'd put me on a list in case something came up. Probably custodial. Imagine me, custodial. This is what they call affirmative action. Hey, guess what? My dad got a job. Oh, Mr. Havlick, you hear the news today, too? Jerry. No. What's it in? Didn't get anything. What? Bringing someone in from the outside. Oh, man. Thanks, man. I'm sorry. I wish we could do something for him and the other guys in this town. They're getting rough. They sure are. Chad, don't you want to help your dad out? Aren't they always telling us to get involved in, in civic stuff? What are we supposed to do? I, I don't know. But with new families moving in, sooner or later, this is going to hit all of us. Hey, we could write a petition to the mayor. The mayor doesn't care. Well, what then? I don't know. But it gotta be something big.
That's the way. You ready, man? You have to plan C. Come on, throw it back. Let's go again. It's almost noon. I gotta get to the store. Come on, man. Just a few more minutes. All right. Hey, but I gotta fix my gloves. All right, dude. Woo! My arm's getting tired. I'm an outfielder. I'm not a pitcher. Look, enough for today, guys, okay? My Charlie horses need some rest. Yeah, yeah I should probably spend some time with my dad. He's really been down. He didn't want to get up this morning. He didn't want to watch us come and play. He loves that. It's like a second manager to us. Like I was saying, we really got to do something about this job thing before it's too late. You want to break some windows at the plant? That's kid stuff, Eddie. This is bigger, much bigger. All right, so what's your big idea, We got to burn a hole in this lousy town. Let's go over to Russ Barker's. I hear he's come up with something. Russ Barker's, man, the guy's a hothead. That's do you want your father working or not? My father's got a job. Eddie's father already got one. His father does it. We'll just go check it out. Okay? Yeah. Okay. My arm can't do, right? Let's go. I'm ready, guys. Uh, we decided to call it quits, Chris. Yeah, we gotta run. Uh, see you Monday. Oh, okay. can't get into trouble. It's freedom of speech. You sure about this, Russ? It's our right. Maybe the blacks can take away our jobs. We still have our rights. Wow, the SCB telling me I'm not qualified. I live here. Whose idea was this? Mine. I went to a city council meeting last night. You know, they were really shoving it to them about the hiring. They said they couldn't do nothing. Couldn't do nothing? Is this our town or what? Ready? Time is over, okay, guys? Ready, almost? What is that? Okay. Sure say where we stand. We gotta stick up for each other and we gotta protect each other. And Russ Barker's got big plans to protest the STB thing. They asked us to join up, so we'll organize things here. I mean, it's our town, right? Right. We gotta stand up for our rights. Just keep the blacks out. I mean, why should our dads have to give up jobs for them, right? Hey, they won't come here anyway. It's too cold in winter. <laughs> What's with the shirts? We're starting a movement to keep the jobs in Springdale. Movement, huh? Don't trip us, man. You think it's right for them to bring in outsiders to take jobs from us? From our fathers? You said yesterday your father got a job, Jerry, and so did your uncle. Doesn't mean I don't stand solid with my town. You think it's okay for them to do this? What kind of future will we have, any of us? I mean, even you. What side are you on? Do I have to ask? Hey, come on, Chris. This isn't about you. Right? Yeah, sure. Friends. It's this little league, right? Hey guys, you know what? What? Listen, have you thought about what Dyson's gonna do when he finds out about these shirts? He just might freak, you know? You know, my guess is we shouldn't offer him one then. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta show the joke, boy? Thanks. I just got a call from Channel 2 News. They want a permission to interview. All right. Where are they? Tell them they can speak to you after school. Off the school grounds. Mr. Dyson. Just doing my job, Jerry. Upholding the rules. And while I'm at it, uh, you're going to have to change your T-shirt. What's the problem? Dress code, paragraph 3, clause 2. No T-shirts with any political messages allowed. Okay, then what about freedom of speech? I mean, the Constitution says... Actually, Eddie, uh, <laughs> the law is rather fuzzy on the rights of minors. So I suggest you contact the ACLU. You're always telling us to stand up for what we believe in. That's what we're doing. Right. Just change the shirt. Come on, Eddie, slow down. Look, I'm ticked, all right? Gotta burn it off. Well, it doesn't do anything if you go that fast. I can't believe it. We got a crumb in 15 seconds under this. They made it look like we were bad guys, like we were racist. I know, Jerry, just forget about it, all right? Forget about it. My uncle said that there were a bunch of blacks pricing houses on Lafayette Street today. They're here, man. They're here. Well, then we gotta do something bigger, you know? Something's gonna get their attention. Hey, guys. Check it out. What's going on? Let's go find out. No, guys, we made our statement. It's still clear. Come on, man. You know Russ has a better idea than a bunch of t-shirts. Look at Russ. Looks like he's gonna blow. I don't want to be there for the explosion. 
Well, I'm going over. You just gonna play it safe and watch your family start. Oh. Tired? I'm fine. I'm exhausted. And you've got homework to do. I'm okay. At least we got everything unloaded. This is too much for you. As soon as I deliver this order to the plant, pick up that big fat check, I'll hire somebody full time again. I like helping you, Dad. Yeah, sure. And I like you getting good grades. Now that I've won some bids, looks like you're going to be a college boy. That's a fire. Close by. <laughs> 